sagging Tim's kinda hard to get a job back out on the block. Charge that to the game. Young girl, she grew up in a rush. Had it bad, no doubt. She don't know who to trust. Every man she ever loved only wanna crush. Oh, no. Charge that to the game. But it's all crazy. Hey, baby, shots get popped. The cops shut down the party. What up, what up, what up, what up? Um, so before we get started, first and foremost, I want to say um, for anybody who's confused or just tuning in, um, these last videos that I did were just me starting out in my journey and um, trying to share a little bit of what I've experienced. So not major detail right now because pre-op, there's really not much in to, to experience besides researching and you know things like that and also I'm not my videos and where I'm at in my journey are it is not current it's not current so I'm pretty much trying to get these videos up without super rushing at the same time rushing to, to get current and um, catch you guys up to speed and just um, I guess to let you guys get to know me and where I'm at um, yeah so more details as we go further into this journey um, and this channel um, I hope to get better and better and better I keep saying um, I don't know if that ever fixes or you know whatnot but anywho I'm trying to keep these videos short um, and it, as informational as possible <coughs> so without further ado today's video is going to be about which I'm gonna do too today um, insurance I had no idea it exists um, <clears throat> when I did find out about it I was super stoked because I'm like it, it was touch and go in the beginning women were saying that they got surgery and then they had complications and then they um, were expected to pay for um, the treatment after and I was just unsure about that and then I seen a case where a woman had complications and there was nothing she could do she couldn't sue the doctor wouldn't help her just things of that nature so yeah I felt so much better after I found out, you know, <clears throat> some doctors actually offer that or, or mandate that. So check to see <clears throat> before you choose a doctor and make it final if they carry the insurance. Um, because if they don't, you just don't want to be in a bad space afterwards. Something goes wrong, you just want to know. I mean, if they don't carry insurance, ask up front. Like, if something goes wrong, what happens? You know, are you guys going to have my back? Or, you know, what's going to happen? Because you, you just want to know that your doctor has your back. <clears throat> Excuse me. After, <clears throat> after surgery. Complications can arise. And I mean, yeah. So, um, from my experience, some doctors I spoke with, they they didn't carry the insurance, but they assured me that they would take care of me 100%. Anything went wrong, they would pay for treatment and, you know, act very quickly to help me to get better. So, some doctors don't offer it, but they will take, you know, absolute care of you. Um, some just say, no, we don't have insurance. And then if you ask what's wrong, then, you know, they say, you know, we'll, we'll follow up or, you know, just just look into that, guys. Because that's, to me, that's important. I'm not trying to be out here on somebody's curb. Uh, with my doctor, it's mandatory. And a few other doctors in the DR, it is mandatory. Hands down, you can't opt out. And I know for my doctor, um, it is like... 175 and don't quote me but I think that covers up to a hundred thousand dollars which 
sold me. I thought that was dope. So that was one of the reasons, of many reasons, I chose my doctor. I just needed to feel secure in all areas, going in and coming out. Um, so, you know, you want to be secure in this journey. You don't want to ever feel that your life is in danger and that your doctor and their staff doesn't have your back. <clears throat> so, yeah, insurance, guys, check into that. I'm not sure about the Miami area and what they carry and how that goes. I'm just speaking from experience, and where I'm going is the DR, Dominican Republic, and my doctor is Dr. Marcos Soto. And, yeah, he has it, and, and it's mandatory. And I think most of the doctors, maybe a few... Uh, don't carry it. And my doctor, and he, he's stuff for real. He's the whole package. Lately, there have been like, uh, I don't want to say bad talk, but just, just a few things said that, you know, were negative about my doctor, but it didn't deter me. Like, I'm sold. Um, I feel like he's the full package. I didn't want a very popular doctor. Um, I wanted somebody who was pretty much up and coming because I feel like they have something to prove to the world. It's a lot of competition out there, so they kind of be on their toes in the beginning. And, and from experience with him, I feel like he's just that straight up guy. I feel like he's going to do good his whole career. I don't think he's going to fall back and slack. He's just a, um, a very passionate type of person. Some of these doctors are like real cocky and just, and people know it and they still go to them because you know, they, they got certain results and, and that's what people want and that's what's up because you cannot sit here and watch my video and choose my doctor just because I'm saying so. You have to do the research on your own and you know, you got to kind of vibe with your doctor. You got to build a rapport. Yeah, so um, get you some insurance, insurance and make sure you know, if you're not getting a doctor with insurance, that you're okay with that fully. You know, you cannot get up off the table and then start having complications and then want to be upset about it. These are decisions that we make ourselves. Nobody is responsible. I know you feel that a doctor may have put his hands on you and so he's responsible, but absolutely not. You chose him and you kind of knew what you were getting yourself into. Granted, my personal opinion, I feel that if a doctor touches you, they should take care of you. That should be all in, you know, but sometimes that's not the way the world works. So have get some security and get some insurance. Yeah, and that's pretty much all the key points I wanted to touch today. Um, let me say thank you for everybody who's been tuning in um like i said this is just the beginning of this channel i hope to i try and offer you guys some <clears throat> some factual information every time i do a video um sometimes there's just not much to touch on and i don't want to be just making up stuff to talk about on this channel you know just to make them put out a video it is called Leah's Real Talk, so I'm trying to get straight to the point with everything, and um, let me see, that's that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, thank you guys for tuning in, you know, I hope to get you some better um, videos, some more things to talk about as I go along and experience. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming up, um, physical stuff, you know pre-op conditioning and stuff like that more detail um as i go through it and um after the next i want to say four videos it's going to be pretty much updates so updates uh pre-op photos and yeah things like that all right you guys stay tuned you wake up, put makeup on, stare in the mirror, but it's clear that you can't face what's wrong. No need to fix what God already put his paintbrush on. Your roommate yelling, why you gotta take so long? What it's like to have a crooked smack. I'm away, I'm away, I'm away down. I'm away, I'm away, I'm away down. This crooked smack.
strike